Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. After a four hour bus ride, which I showed you in less than 15 seconds, I am here at MG's joint venture, sorry, SAIC's joint venture battery plant. And this battery plant is massive, okay, it's massive. In fact, MG is the only OEM who's invested so much into battery technology. Usually most manufacturers, they actually outsource it, but they have invested so much into a battery plant. 51% is what they own of this joint venture, which means that there's something special and for the first time, we're actually going to see how the battery is made. So very exciting day ahead. Let's get going. Eleven o'clock back in the room. What a long day, massive day. In fact, eight hours I was in the bus today because we went to the MG's joint venture, either Psych, the parent company of MG, which has a joint venture with a battery manufacturing company, 51% is their stake. So we saw the whole process and it's just not assembling battery packs, but they are actually also making the modules of the battery. So they're making everything from the start process. So we saw all of that. It was absolutely wonderful. And they've invested rupees 10,000 crores in this facility. Just imagine how bullish they are on EVs. I don't know when it's going to happen in India, but that is the future. Unfortunately, we want that sound from an engine. So now just back into the room, just going to freshen up and going to sleep. Day was long, day was nice. And uh, the whole experience of actually visiting a battery manufacturing, not battery assembly, but battery manufacturing facility was just something else. And it got so much insight into, you know, how China completely thinks differently only, like even the Chinese manufacturers. Now we've seen that 80s was a time, 80s, 90s was a time of Hondas. And then uh, 2000s and 2010s and all those 20 years have been times of Hyundai's. In the future, it's going to be time of uh, Chinese car companies. So we all have to be ready because the Chinese invasion is definitely coming. They're just so ahead in terms of technology, foresight and whatnot. I just hope Tata and Mahindra are able to lift the image of Indian car manufacturing really very high. So I'll just take a leave. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's an interesting and chill day because I'll tell it to you tomorrow, actually. I am right now at the Roe showroom here, which is one of their biggest, actually it's the biggest in downtown Shanghai. And it's an absolute crazy place. I'll do a quick walk around. So here is actually the battery pack of their flagship vehicle, the Marvel X. And that is the flooring of the car. Yeah, that's the floor along with the battery as well as those orange wires which tell you that they do not have to be touched. This is the Marvel X, the car I was talking about. Finishes in beautiful color. And of course, this happens to be the Vision R concept car. Looks absolutely stunning. Just look at the design. Look at those wheels. Those are 21 inch wheels. The interior is also very cool indeed. In fact, yeah, it's really amazing. Doesn't get rear view mirrors, doesn't need them because <laughs> it's a concept at the end of the day. See how the light merges with the grill. That also looks beautiful indeed. And uh, this place is over two buildings, uh, actually two floors. And uh, you see there are a lot of concepts there as well. Meanwhile, today is actually the first anniversary of the showroom. And uh, there's a restaurant right next door. So anyone can come there. Now, this is a beautiful concept car. You can see there's makeup and all inside. And uh, it says Marvel L. So a lot of focus on design. Certainly looks beautiful. So I'll do one thing. I will just quickly show you this showroom with some music on so that you can enjoy the whole experience without me blabbering unnecessarily. <laughs>
What a crazy day I had today. So after I showed you the whole Roy experience, we went to Starbucks where they, it's still one of the biggest Starbucks in the world, massive. In fact, a lot of coffee is also made there. So we could see the whole process. I had a quick drink, a coffee, of course. And from there, the size of the coffee is actually very small when compared to India and it's also much more expensive. From there, we went for lunch to an Indian restaurant. Yeah, Indian restaurant, dal, chawal, rajma, uh, chicken tikka and uh, pav bhaji, all that Indian stuff we ordered and I ate. And itna khane ke baad, then we walked till the bus, we were driving by bus here. And I went to the flea market of China. Trust me, there are so many knockoffs, you will go crazy. Second copy, third copy, fifth copy, all the copies of almost every possible brand on earth. In fact, there are some Chinese brands also. Unka bhi second, third, fourth, fifth copy bana ke rakha un logo ne. Insane, and you have to bargain like crazy. And the bargaining is so crazy, so crazy, I can't tell you in words. Like, you know, whatever price they quote, you have to get it down by 70%. And they don't agree, you keep bargaining, then you leave, then they come, they catch you, they hold you and they say namaste, they talk in Indian language, Hindi mein baat karte hain, and all that stuff happens and all that drama happens. It was absolutely crazy, but uh, not really good stuff there. However, itna second copy, it's a massive place, it's so big, it's so big, it's so big, that's what she said. That I, we went crazy going there and you know the problem is that almost all the shops are selling the same thing are selling the same things. So whatever scale models we saw, they also a little rip off, but everywhere they were the same. Got really tired and exhausted because we had told the bus driver that we are going Actually, MG told us that, you know, how much time you want and after three hours, we all will meet at this point. So we were stuck, we were just roaming and all over the place. We didn't get anything good there. I'll show you what I got behind. We got out from there, from the bus, we came to the hotel, came quickly, uh, changed, freshened up, and then we ran, uh, MG dropped us by a Roy MG6, I think, to another mall nearby, which happened to be this thing, uh, where the MI store is there. So because some people wanted to go to the MI store, I was like, let's go and experience what is there in the new mall. We went there uh, and uh, oh my God, MI sells almost everything possible on earth. Toothpaste, toothbrush, door handle, everything is there, but there was a lot of good electronics. I mean, value for money electronics. From there, the, uh, the car had all gone back. So we actually took a ticket and where did coin jama karke, ticket khari di. thankfully the person at the airport, sorry, the train station was really helpful to, for us to get the train, took the train, headed back and we were just finding it difficult to, you know, put the ticket on entry and so that it automatically opens and all. Came back, right joint to the hotel is a mall, massive mall. Us mall mein gaye. Us mall mein jane ke baad, we uh, had dinner, Chinese, authentic Chinese dinner and uh, the ice cream was like really different I would say, but a different type of thing. After eating, the stores, the malls, they shut at 10 o'clock. Everything shuts very early because people are like, we have a life here. We're not going to sit for customers whole day. 10 o'clock it shuts. Ran here, there on the mall, went to Apple store, wanted to buy AirPods Pro, but they're not available, out of stock. Hopefully I'll be able to get it tomorrow morning because they said this store might be having AirPods Pro, you can go there. So tomorrow morning early again, 10 o'clock it opens, 10.30 we check out. So that is the story. I don't know if I'll be able to talk to you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a lot of rush. I'll just show you what I actually bought. So I bought these uh, MI Air 2. These are no noise cancelling ones. This is for someone I bought actually. And uh, I already have AirPods 1. 
so i'm obviously not going to use this meanwhile i also bought this g63 six by six and uh, this i bought for children and uh, i mean it's good because firstly it has a functional hood it has functional doors it has a functional tailgate as well tailgate also opens like this so that's really cool and obviously uh, like you can pull it and you can move it right now i'll just open the hood okay there the car is turned on and it has all these lights and all these things going on can you hear that doors open proper interior okay it's a little bit of an effort to do it one hand but it's super duper cool this thing and of course also got a range rover now this happens to be a range rover long wheelbase yeah it is actually the velar and piche ka jo darwaza hai na wo upar khulta hai okay this also has all the noises and all happening so yeah you can see that now the funny thing is these chinese people they make anything and everything on earth are band kar in fact uh, i saw ferrari a la ferrari pink colored lum limousine that's right a sports car limousine who does all this that was hilarious but finally abhi i'm going to quickly pack sleep early get up early have breakfast early then go and see what else i can shop here that's all for today crazy day but a fun day nonetheless